and welcome to the Fashion Awards 2023 Red Carpet, served to you by Smart Water. Smart Water in my British accent. <laughs> Terrible. I love your British accent. I'm the luckiest girl in London town right now because I'm joined by the fabulous, the incredible, the sensational, did I leave anything out? The iconic. The iconic <laughs> Law Roach. Hi, darling. Hi, lover. How are you? I'm so good. I'm all the better for seeing you. To walk me through this situation. Uh, I am wearing custom Law Eve. Women's, I mean, no, not even women's women, designer of the year nominee, Jonathan Anderson, so graciously made this for me to wear tonight, and I am so grateful. You look fabulous. It's Thank sharp, you. literally. It's a very sharp. Yes, look. it is fashion, but it's also a murder weapon. <laughs> okay, now does this does this look seem a little familiar to it you? It seems very familiar. I was looking at it, I was like, how did she break into my studio and steal this dress from the Smart Water campaign? <laughs> this is a Connor Ives custom-made homage to the Zendaya look that you styled the megastar in yeah. for the Smart Water campaign. Yes. We're feeling it? You look great. The good thing is, is I had a hood and we didn't even know it was going to rain. Um, now, Law, we've yes. got lots of fabulous names yes. coming tonight. Little Birdie told us Anne Hathaway is coming. Oh, and he's going to be here. That's right. And I hope she's wearing Versace. She's a Versace ambassador, a face. Um, so I'm praying, fingers crossed, that she wears a Versace. But I know she'll be in Bulgari. Um, some amazing diamonds. We love to see the glamour on the carpet. I'm wearing Bulgari as well. So we'll have something in common. I was going to say, your diamonds aren't too bad tonight either, oh, Law. Um, okay, there's so many amazing names tonight. I feel like yeah. we should get started. I think we should get started. Let's get to it. We are here on the red carpet of the Fashion Awards, which is organized by the British Fashion Council. Tonight is the primary fundraiser of the British Fashion Council Foundation. And the Fashion Awards is all about spotlighting creative talent and telling the story of this year in fashion. We're here to celebrate some of the amazing, amazing names that make up the British fashion scene on a global scale. You want to hear the award categories? Okay, we've got Model of the Year, we've got British menswear designer, we've got British women's wear designer, new establishment menswear, new establishment women's wear, and the winners are going to be revealed tonight. But first, I'm going to have a little catch up with my friend Owang here in <laughs> full vet mom. We're kind of sinking. You I look know, amazing. I love it. Connor Ives. I love it. I'm in the Connor Ives. You're in the full vet mom. Yes. I mean, this you you are the smartest girl this evening in this no, look. No, because I made the mistake it. last year of not wearing a coat or jacket. So this year, dedication. <laughs> you look wonderful. <laughs> Thank Who you. are you excited to see this evening? I, I just saw Lorraine Pascal, so I was excited to see that, to see her, honestly. But that everyone, just everyone, honestly, no one in particular. Now, this has been a big, big, big year for fashion. What have yes. been some of your personal highlights? Uh, pers my personal work? Tell I us. mean, D Squared Show, Mugler, I've done a lot, to be honest. Vogue Brazil is my biggest highlight. Owen has killed it this year. I'm going to say it on your behalf. <laughs> yeah. She's killed it. Thank you. Everywhere. <laughs> Thank now, um, what are you, you going to do to celebrate tonight? The after party? We're going to Edward's to um, after party. The streets are saying. <laughs> the streets are saying. I'm going to see saying. you on the dance floor. Yes, you are. We're going to have fun and yes. we're going to we're going to stay dry and we're going to dance. Brilliant. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. you look beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> And we're still here on the amazing red carpet for the British Fashion Awards. And I am here with it girl, my fellow British Vogue colleague, Tish. Let's talk about what you're wearing, baby. Hi, I am wearing Annie Doble. Yes. A, an amazing cobweb inspired creation yes. um, inspired by nature's best seamstress, the spider. Uh, that's so true. I wish this was around when I was doing Zendaya for Spider-Man because I would yes. surely use this look. So. You've been here before. Yes, I have. Tell me what you're excited to see tonight. Who, what, 
I'm very excited, well, just to be here with Annie and yeah. also to see some of my favorite young London designers, yes. Delara, Connor, yes. Harris. Yes. It's very exciting. I always say that London is where you come to see the disruptors, to yeah. see the new, True. the new new, you yeah. know? So I'm always happy to be here and I think you look amazing. It's given like this very sexy Morticia Adams, yes, we love. Elvira, yes. you know, we love it. I love yes. the darkness of it. But it's so good to see you, Tish. I want you to get in before you freeze your apples and pears. I'm trying to learn all this British lingo, but I know apples that's cockney. Stairs. Stairs. Oh, okay, okay. I, I fuck. I, me oh, oops, I messed up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, give me a kiss, babe. You look amazing. So good to see you. You too. Bye. Bye. Hot water ambassador to Sophia. Right here with us. Hello, darling. You look amazing. I love this dress. I love this dress. We were just saying we're kind of matching. Yeah, we're kind of coordinating. I was very inspired by Julia Hobbs. Today. That's not Tell true. Her. You're the bombshell. You look Thank absolutely you, amazing. Babe. Walk us through this look. Okay, I've got vintage gloves. Ooh. Got Gina on the shoes. Yes. I've got rotate dress. And I had a goatee bag, but I don't know where I put that. She doesn't carry her own handbag. <laughs> That's not what a smart water girl oh, does. Do you know what's so ironic? It's a smart water, like, kind of moment now and it's raining yeah. like we're so wet it's kind of a moment <laughs> we're refreshed yes um Sophia, <laughs> who are you looking forward to seeing this evening the guest list is incredible probably edward and alec i'm so happy for edward and alec and they're all just i think that it's probably a bit more surreal for them obviously but it's also surreal for me to like see him get honored for something that i feel like i've kind of watched him kind of build up in his life so it's really like nice for me to see that these are Sophia's fashion family. Yeah, this I, is we've truly, got matching tattoos. Yeah, this is a, this is the level of family that's here tonight and that's showing out. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. You look beautiful. Okay. Have fun. I'm gonna see you. See I'm gonna see you on the dance floor. Stay wet, but honey. I will. I'll stay wet. <laughs> <laughs> that's everything. Hi, and I'm back. And please introduce yourself to the lovely people watching. Hi, I'm Zinia Kuma. I'm a scientist and a model. Oh wow, scientist. <laughs> Environmental. Smart scientist. and gorgeous. <laughs> So I want to jump right in. Yes. Tell me what you're wearing. So I'm wearing Valentino. So oh, hell, and oh my god, sorry. <laughs> and my jewels are Chopin. So Divine, yeah. you look amazing. Thank you. Um, Pia Paolo is nominated for Designer of the Year. So fingers crossed, fingers you'll crossed. be with the winning team <laughs> yes, tonight. Hopefully. Enjoy yourself. I don't want to keep you out too long. The rain is freezing, but you look incredible, and you, you are completely dry. I do not <laughs> know how she pulled that off, but. There is not one single raindrop on this girl. So I'm gonna let you in. Let me get a big kiss and enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you. It's such a pleasure meeting so you. So nice to meet you. This wall? I love that Law is envious of people that are completely dry. Okay, we're here on the red carpet. It's really busy now. We've got all kinds of stars from all over the world. And there's a few nominees here who are hoping to leave with one of our trophies tonight. I'm joined by one of our nominees. Hello, Chet. Hi. Hello. Uh, Chet is one of London's most fabulous young designers and you're nominated tonight. Tell us about it. Yes, I'm nominated for the BFC Foundation Award. So I'm super grateful for it and I'm just excited. And honestly, I don't care if I win or not because I'm surrounded by such amazing people tonight. So I'm just excited. There's a lot of love in the air. It's truly a friend's and family affair. Now, one thing I have to say, Chet, I never see you in black. I always oh. see you in eye-popping <laughs> colors, so you have to tell me about this beautiful look. I just, this is a fall winter 23 gown that we made for our finale piece. Is it in stores now? It Should is. we do a rug? <laughs> in stores now, in get stores it, now. party season. It is, you know, just something sexy and sultry and everything else was loaned out, so I was like, I guess I'm gonna wear this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we like it. And we, we see that everyone's wearing trains in spite the weather, so we're, you're not cutting back on the glamour. <laughs> Chet, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to catch you. you inside. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. And we're back. And so I'm going to start out with one of my friends. I'll introduce one of my good friends, Mr. Harris Reed. Hi, love. How, How are, are you, you, darling? You know, we're just keeping dry and sexy and fabulous. <laughs> and I'll let you introduce your muse for tonight. This is the incredible Sheila Adam. Oh, I'm not even talking to the like the microphone. <laughs> Dressed in head-to-toe Harris Reed, looking yes. fabulous. Yes. 
Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. So what is, I, I love that you guys are dressed alike. I love yeah. that you come in as a couple. Mm -hmm. Tell me what inspired the look tonight, Harris. Um, I think it was a little bit Adam's family. I think I love the kind of the dark beauty of London. I think the corsetry, yes. a nod to the late Dame Vivian Westwood. Yes. This idea of, you know, really just playing on the things that I loved at Central St. Martin. So whenever I come to the Fashion Awards, it feels like I'm back at school again in the best way. It's a creativity, it's a passion, yes. it's fun. And yeah, just kind of wanting to then like match it and do gold hair because yeah. it's pouring rain. Why not? Because why not? Why not? Both yeah. look incredible. You know you are one of my favorite people. Thank, on from the you planet. means the world. Thank you, thank you, thank um, you. And let's talk about the jewels. <laughs> the ring. Please. Um, I mean, I've always wanted to wear a giant diamond cocktail ring and the lovely De Beers team let me pull this from the uh, museum. So please don't cut my hand I off. I love it. You guys look incredible. So <laughs> question, what was some of the smartest advice you ever got? The Fashion, advice life. You know, when it comes to fashion, I've always been told to just make sure whatever I'm wearing, I feel comfortable in it. Mm. And I feel like it really is an extension of me. And that's why I'm so, I love this dress because I've definitely got a bit of an Adams Family <laughs> thing. Yes. I'm a big fan, yes. um, but it, it allows me to feel like myself, but elevate and feel elegant. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just feel comfortable in the skin that you're in, you know? You both look amazing. And literally, if I was still working, I'd be calling you like, you should have gave me that dress. <laughs> I would, Biggest I been on the red this carpet. Is, this is the dress that the stylists fight for. You look Thank incredible, you. and you guys Thank have you. the most amazing time tonight. Thank and you. Thank you I'm so happy to, that you're here and to meet you in person. We always see each other. In yeah, like in person. And we like wave and say yeah, hi. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, we do the black girl nod. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I see it's you. such a pleasure. I see right, you. I see you, sis. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. Enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you so much. You too. Love you, darling. Always divine. Love you more. Have a fun night and stay dry. Thanks, guys. And we're back with the gorgeous Amanda Holden and her daughter Lexi looking stunned. I mean, I think we need a, a little commotion for the dress. Well, it was the only way I could sneak in other guests. <laughs> They're all under there. It's true. There's about six people underwear. Um, underwear, underwear under there. She's got underwear on the brain. I have got underwear on the brain and less on the body, but more on the brain. OK, gals, walk us through this. What was your getting ready process tonight? It was quite panicked. <laughs> we, we had a lot of time and then at the end we, we had to, we were doing some sort of photos in our garage and we couldn't find an extension lead and the light broke and, and then my daughter came home from school and I had to get her tea and I'm like dressed like this. So it's not as glamorous as you might think. Amanda, I'm obsessed with Amanda. I have to say, I'm completely obsessed with you and I would expect nothing less than an iconic garage DIY impromptu photo shoot. Who are you excited to see tonight? Who are you excited, Lexi? Well, you know Charlotte Tilbury's coming, so you, yeah. she likes a lot of that makeup. I love Charlotte Tilbury, and Charlotte Tilbury's nominated this evening. Well, she's receiving an award, and I yes. think I'm, I can personally say I'm coated in Charlotte Tilbury tonight. Yes, I'm wearing Revolution, but she's in a bit of Charlotte Tilbury. You so. look beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> um, it's been a big year in fashion. Have you had any particular personal highlights? Um, I just, I just think celebrating fashion at any level is so important, and supporting, you know, newbies and people from other countries. This this is a Lebanese designer. This is uh, Khalid and Marwin. Lexi, who are you wearing? Ozzy and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's Lexi wearing? Azzy and Oster. There we go. Yes. Yes. So check the Instagram for the quotes Both. from the garage photo shoot. <laughs> yes, <tonight>. exactly. <laughs> Guys, it just leaves me to say a huge thank you. I can't wait to thank see you inside. You're we brave have a glass woman. of champagne. We're I'm brave. We are. I, I feel like I should leave this with you. Look. Yeah. I know. Can I just... I'm just going to cuddle in. Oh, Can you look. adopt me? It's good. Okay, there guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank to talk you. to you. Nice to see you. <laughs> and I'm here with the amazing, the Miss only housewife that ever really mattered, Miss Lisa Renner. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. Oh my God, I love you so much. We've been Instagram friends for so long. So long. And we met in person at Fashion Week, of course. Of course. A few seasons ago, of and I am did. in love with her. And you are wearing chat low. I know I this anywhere so tell me a little bit about this dress i'm here with chet Lowe. he designed this we made it together basically uh, he made it on my body today and here today. we are today yeah yeah no impossible well yesterday and today okay okay, okay. so but <laughs> <laughs> you look you are having such a i don't know what to call it but this a moment. Of like, I'm having a moment. You are having a moment. And so are you, by the way. Thank, well, I think my moment that. is coming to an end. No, but, it's you not. Know, no, no, you no. Are, Never. I love seeing you at Fashion Week. I love the clothes. I just saw you at Balenciaga uh, with your daughters. How does yes. it feel to birth supermodel? 
It feels really good because they're nice girls. Yeah. We actually, at the end of the day, we made good humans, yeah. and that's what matters. So whatever they do, yeah. we support them. Yeah. They're good human beings and they're kind. Yeah. So. That's the most important. That's the most Even important. though you might hear that fashion, we aren't we're snobs and no. we're all mean and nasty. There are beautiful people with beautiful souls in this industry, and I am talking to one of them right now, and as she just described to her amazing daughters, and I love to see you guys together. Thank you. I love to see you sitting at the front row supporting Thank you. them. Thank and you. And you are having a moment. The fashions, everything has having been fun. so great. Thank you. And you know what? <gasps> Thank you. Coming from you? No, Thank you. you have. Listen, Thank you. Everything, is, everything is amazing. Thank and you. I think I always like to believe that when, when it's your moment, it's your moment. And congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy to see oh, you, Lisa. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you more. Really? And we still have to have our play day. I'm yes, going to her do. closet That's to play right. in her pieces. With my vintage pieces. Yes, because she has them. That's right. You come. And the most important thing is that she can still fit them. That's right, honey. <laughs> That's fucking right. <laughs> oh, she didn't mean to say that, but that's okay. Oopsie. <laughs> my daughter's coming. You'll see her. Amelia's okay. coming. Okay. So look for she her. She has to stop. Okay. Say, tell Bye. her to stop and say to me. I will. Okay, I love you so I much. I love you. We apologize for the Sorry. swearing. She's uh, she. Sorry. You know those housewives have filthy mouths, darling. Do you want this? Um, or something? Can I be invited to that fashion play date too? I think that sounds like rather a lot of fun. Okay, guys. So some of tonight's winners have already been revealed. Alexander McQueen, former creative director and designer Sarah Burton, the late British fashion designer Joe Casey Hayford. The British Fashion Council will be announcing tonight a scholarship in Joe's name, which is incredible. We're really delighted to be sharing that and showcasing that this evening. Beauty entrepreneur founder Charlotte Tilbury is also going to be uh, recognized this evening, as is fashion journalist Sarah Moa. Now, before we go any further, I wanted to show you a little conversation that Law and I had a little bit earlier, where we were spilling the tea, having a little chit chat. Let's get to it. Hello, Law. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Very good. Now, you've been very busy lately. Have I? But you have. Okay. <laughs> you've just landed in London for tonight's celebration. Yes. My first question for you, though, what was it like to work with your bestie, Zendaya, on the Smart Water campaign? Uh, we've done so many things together, but I think this the Smart Water campaign was really incredible because we got to use her incredible platform and Smart Water's platform to highlight and to show off like these amazing British designers. Um, so it was really fun. You know, we, we had a huge list and we narrowed it down to um, a smaller group of the ones that we thought, you know, that could slay and get the assignment right. And I think they did. Slay, they did. Yeah. This is, it's a roll call of some of London's best love new designers. Yes. Now, Law, you've gone from superstar stylist to a superstar in your own right, but I have to ask you about some of the amazing names that you've styled yes. in your career. Yes. Tell us about that. Which one do you want to know about? Oh my God, I want to know about <laughs> Anne. I want to know about uh, everybody. Give I us mean, the Hollywood I think a few are here tonight. Um, I know Anne Hathaway's here, um, and we had, a, we had a moment. It was incredible. She's the epitome of a movie star and she has a thing, you know, I, I, I became a stylist because I really believe that being a woman is an art form and to see someone of that magnitude in her, I like to say, zhuzh of being, you know, this this Hollywood phenom. Um, it's just, it was just amazing. Now, Law, what is your smart advice for any aspiring stylists that want to get to where you are today? Uh, my smart advice for any aspiring stylist is to really do the work. I think, um, you know, we're in an age in a, that people don't really want to do their work. They want to just get the end result, but you have to do the work. Just learn the infrastructure and the foundation. And I think once you get that, it's, it's easy to go on and be, be great. Like you can't learn algebra if you don't learn basic math, right? Mm -hmm. So get the foundation. Mm -hmm. And we're here in London. What for you sets these awards apart from, you know, other red carpets? What are you excited about? Um, I always think that for me as a stylist, I always look to the Brits as, you always find something cool when you come to London. And 
I think that's for me, you know, growing up in America and that, that being my base. When I'm looking for a disruptor or something more avant-garde or something more fun or just something that I quite haven't seen before, I always look to London. I always look to British designers. Thank you so much, Law. Thank you, Julia. It's been great to catch up. Yes. Should we go kill it on the red carpet? Let's go, babe. Let's do it. We shall not be defeated by the rain because the glamour is only getting more glamorous this evening. I'm joined by the queen, the catwalk queen, Kristen McManamy, looking fabulous. What are you wearing tonight? I am wearing Don Baptista Valley. And you're wearing it very, very, very well. Thank I want you, can you, you give much. us a little a little wiggle, a little shimmy? Okay. Oh, so, oh. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Kristen, what's your getting ready secret? What do you do when you're going to get in the mood for the fashion awards? Well, I have three hours of hair and makeup. <laughs> and uh, I pet my cats a little, have a cup of tea, and uh, squeeze into my dress and listen to a little rock and roll. And then here we are, chatting. Oh on my a, God, on this, here we are. On this rain dappled red carpet. Yeah. Um, who are you excited to see this evening? Uh, everybody. everybody. <laughs> I think everybody's here. That excites everybody's me. Here. Yeah, the whole thing is so exciting. <laughs> I mean, geez, I thought I was well dressed until I look around. <laughs> now, the Fashion Awards is kind of like fashion's big last party of the year. Yeah. What's your tip for anyone that wants to throw a really good party? What's the secret to a good party? I have never thrown a party in my life, but I would say the people, you have to, you know, the uh, the casting has to be very well. Casting a party. No, uh, uh, before that, it's lighting. Lighting, you have to have like candlelight, everybody looks beautiful. And uh, well, I don't care about anyone else, but I look beautiful, well, as beautiful as I can look. And, um, and yeah, the food doesn't matter. <laughs> food, okay, this is the supermodel tip for a good party. Good lighting, yeah. good casting. Chris, oh, thank and you great so music. And great music. No, great music. I need that. <laughs> but not too loud, so you can't talk. Okay, all the tips, all the secrets. <laughs> Kristen, thank you so much. Have fun. I'll see you inside. Okay, see thank you inside. You. Bye. Thank you so I am much. so wet. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I'm back and I'm with one of my beautiful friends, Sarah. Hi. My darling, please Thanks. tell me what you're wearing. I'm wearing Richard Quinn. Yes, British you designer. Know, British designer, and I, I love his work so much. I think he's so talented, yes. and I wanted to wear, obviously, British designer, so. I oh, feel someone's trying to get here in my. In our pick, in our. <laughs> well, we, somebody's jumping somebody's in the interview, jump but in that's totally fine. So Richard Quinn is one of my favorites when it's I was working because what I love, if you turn the dress inside out, the inside should be as beautiful as the outside, and I think he is a couturier. He's incredible. Yeah, he He's is incredible. Like, I, I got to go to the show where he actually presented his dress, and uh -huh. I was like. Oh my God! I want everything. It's just, he just really knows. No, he's what he's great. Doing. He actually made a dress for me for Zendaya for a Bulgari event that was absolutely incredible. But also, I want to know about the jewels. It's Swarovski. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. They're sparkly. Oh wow. They're oh, my God. Yeah. I would have really thought those were real diamonds. They're well, they're Swarovskis. Even better. They're even better. <laughs> you look incredible. Tell Thank me you. who you're excited to see tonight. Oh, where am I? You know what? I'm just excited to see, like, I haven't been in London so long, yeah. so just to see some friends here yeah. and just to see who wins. Right, it's always, always exciting. exciting. To yeah. be in the room, right? Exactly. So did you work with a stylist to help pick the look tonight? I did, yeah. I Talk about it. Give your stylist a shout out. <laughs> stylist Hi, to stylist. I got you. I got you, stylist. <laughs> I work with Ari. It's my uh -huh. second time working with him. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm, it's, it's like a, a new... Um, a collaboration a that collaboration, I'm very yeah. excited about. And that's about, the yeah. best part about working with stars. It has to be a true collaboration. It is, yeah. And when it is, you get beautiful outcomes like this. <laughs> you look incredible. Thank I'm you. so happy. I haven't saw you in so long. I know. I think, I, I don't even know last time. It's I, been a long I time. mean, we worked when Zendaya did the Tommy Hilfiger uh, so long ago. show, and that was like years right. ago. Yeah. Another life. Well, so happy to see you. I can't <laughs> wait to see you in the room, man. Possibly at the after party. We'll party tonight. Maybe. All right. We'll Cheers, see. my darling. Thank you. So 
Holland. For those who are not familiar with you <laughs> and what you do, please introduce yourself Hi, everyone. to everyone's watching. Hello, everyone who's watching. Hello, Mom. It's Laura Whitmore. I'll see you tomorrow, Mom. And uh, we are at the British Fashion Awards, Laura. We are, and you Have look fun. incredible. And you are wearing the iconic Miss Vivian, Vivian Westwood. Westwood. Yeah. Or in vintage Vivian, and I just feel I'm a huge fan of it. everything yes. fashion, but also what she represented yes. culturally. Um, and she was just a powerhouse. Yes. And can I just say, these shoes are the best things I've ever worn in my entire life. Wow. Yes. Those are scary on the carpet. I wore some of them to to the to the show right after she passed. If you don't know, we lost um, Vivian this year. Sad for just the world in general, not just fashion. Mm -hmm. um, like she said, she was such a, a disruptor and a rule breaker, and she created something. I think, for me as a stylist, there is nothing more iconic than the silhouette of a Westwood dress. Yeah. And you said it's, yours are vintage, do you know what season? Oh no, but you probably know what season it is. You're, gonna do, you're, you're so good. Uh, I I'll, believe, I'll believe anything you say as well. I would well. say it's 97, fall, winter 97. It's definitely 90s. But I know Johnny from Pachua Vintage will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the 90s for sure. And then you mentioned as well the silhouette. She just makes you feel yeah. feminine. She gives you a weight. She gives yeah. you the boobs. Yeah. And they always say, well, Dolly Parton says, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. And uh, we've gone punk hair tonight, Law. You look amazing. You are giving the essence of Vivian, and I think that she would be really proud. You look gorgeous, head to toe Vivian. And I'm blown away by the look. One of my favorite looks so far of the night. Oh, thank you. You're uh, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you pleasure. too. So who are you excited to see? I'm just excited to be in a room with all these incredible fashion people. I like to people watch. Same. I'm a big people watch person, yeah. but I know a lot of people will be celebrated in this room tonight. And it's seeing old friends, but also making new friends. Yes. And I hear it's always a good party, Law. Always a good party. And you're really good at this. <laughs> this is my first time at She's School. You're I'm, really I'm good at this. I'm actually going to leave now because you're really she's good at out this. presenting me <laughs> and it's my job tonight. I get out of here. Sorry, I'm gone. I'm gone. Pleasure. Just, I can't walk that fast in these heels. Mwah. I'll see you. Bye. Get out of here. Bye. Okay, I'm gone. Her professional self. <laughs> she looks amazing at Vivian Westwood. I love the look. I love that she's paying homage to someone that's so important to British fashion. And oh, almost tripped then. Um, wow. And we're back, and I'm joined by the gorgeous, handsome, divine Luke Newton. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what are you wearing this evening? I'm wearing Amy. I'm very excited. Got some sequins. sequins tonight. I was going to say, can we get the sequins? It's the first time out? for me with some sequins, so Is yeah. It? Yeah. I love that for us. So yeah, I'm very happy. I'm feeling good. Um, um, it's beer. I was grilling Luke on any plot spot is for the return of the bridge. It gave me yeah. nothing. No, so we can't talk talking. about that. Sorry. We are going to talk about who you're excited to see this evening. Who's that? Everyone. You know what? <laughs> Everyone. Because this is my first time. Is it? Yeah, very first time. So I have no like preconceptions. I don't know what to expect. I came here, I'm seeing loads of amazing people, and yeah, I'm excited to just get in, in the warm, and uh, enjoy some fun. You're gonna have a ball. We're wait. gonna have a ball. This is so much fun. I've really? been saying, yes, this is when the whole fashion industry lets their hair down. Okay. Everyone sort of gets a little bit mischievous, a little yeah. bit cheeky, whilst right. in these fabulous looks. Absolutely. I love you in this. What color Thank is this, you. do we say? Oh, I should probably know that, shouldn't I? <laughs> mint? Yeah, let's go with that. Little bit mint. Yeah. Okay, that's it from us. I'll get yeah. the plot spoilers later and feed them back to you. Yeah. Thank Thank you so much, Thank Luke. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you, guys. So happy to be here tonight, right now at the end of this moment with Meta. She's opening the awards with an amazing performance. And I, a little bird, told me that you are from Minnesota. And yes. there was also a great artist that was also from Minnesota. Am Indeed. I right? Indeed. And whose favorite color and who is synonymous with the color purple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? This is Prince, honey. Prince is, is with us tonight. It's raining. I'm wearing purple. I'm leaning into the moment and, and being blessed in this moment wow. before I go on stage. So yeah. so I'm excited to see the performance, especially since we you just prefaced the performance with that. Like, 
You look incredible. I know who you're wearing, but I'll let you tell the people. Okay, this is Robert Woon. The Birdie Collection, Spring Summer 23 Couture. Yes. And he's known for, if you don't know a little bit of Robert Woon, he's British designer that's known for these incredible origami type ruffles. And I think you look divine. That means so much to me because you literally are the style icon. Oh, wow. so. thank you. Well, I was. I retired. Now I'm doing this. Oh, well, well, you know what? We love to see you doing this. Yeah, we're just trying new things, though. But you look incredible. Let's talk about the jewelry. Yes, Pandora. So not only are these lab-grown, stunning pieces, conflict-free, in, in synchronicity with Mother Nature, solar energy is used to make them. And I have 44 carats on a bra that I'm going to wear on stage. So stay tuned. See, see, did you work with a stylist tonight or did you? I did. My stylist, Sandra, is right there. Shout out to Sandra. Sandra, Look, we love I got you. you. I got you. You will not be invisible tonight. No. I got you. And you she, did an amazing job. She created the, the look on stage, too. Uh -huh. You know, we've got David Coma. We took a suit okay. from David Coma. Another British designer. Another British designer, because yeah. that's what we're doing tonight. Yeah. And we completely did. Well, I don't want to give it away. Yeah, don't give it away. Don't give it away. But we're really proud to be supporting British designers Good. tonight. So shout out, to, shout out to Sandra as well. That's right. Shout out your stylist, though. Yes, girl. We love that. OK, um, who are you excited to see? OK, I really want to see Paloma. Because, like, she's incredible. Yeah. And I love who she is and what she stands and for. And she's nominated for Model of the Year. Model of the Year. Take it home. Yeah. Bring it home. Bring it back to the yeah. States. And who else? Hmm. Ooh. Well, you know what? I'm really actually excited to see um, Sam Smith perform. Because okay. we love our performers. Yeah, yes, okay. Yes. We got to show that. Shout out. And then, you know what else? I want to meet some new people. Because my Rolodex of friends, like, you know, I had to cut a few. Like, there's some spaces open. That's we're friends now. You know, we're friends now. We are friends we're now. Friends now. Okay, we'll you. hang out in the show. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Thank you Have so the much, most Law. amazing time. This is your first time here? This is my first time here. Have the most amazing first time here. Thank and you, I'll see you in there. Maybe I'll have the party tonight. Oh, you will definitely see me at the and after party. shout out to the stylist. She did an amazing job. <laughs> Thank you. And I love uh, that there's a story tied to it. That's always. the most important thing. That's important. Thank right. you. We're back and I'm joined by the beautiful Zara. Thank Hello. Thank you for having me. A pleasure. We were actually just chatting before we came live on air that we have the same hair colorist. We do, so we do. We're always probably fighting for appointments and staying, <laughs> I you know. So. I see I see our hairstylist more than I see most members of my family. And friends. And friends, exactly. <laughs> you look stunning this Thank evening. Tell you. us what you're wearing. This is Kate Barton. I'm it literally obsessed fine. with it. It's I love them. This belt is really just intergalactic, I feel. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Now, this has been a big year in fashion. What, for you, has been some of your personal highlights? Oh, I think going to Cannes for the first time, that was one of my biggest dreams was to go there. I went with L'Oreal this year. I had this huge red dress that was literally the entire length of the carpet, but it was wow. just insane. It was insane. It was like a real, it was a real night of it. Like the, the can atmosphere is something I've never experienced before. Well, you're about to experience it even better this evening because this is the Fashion Awards and we're going to party like it. Oh my gosh, I know. This is my first Fashion Awards. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm very excited. All right, well, Tell we're going to have fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, everyone just lets their hair down. That's what I keep on saying. This is when the fashion industry really has fun. And you can see all the fabulous names on the red carpet this evening. I spot Elipa. I see Alexa. A chung shimmying around oh towards gosh, us. Oh my incredible. You can hear her actually before you can see her. Um, Zara, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You thank you. Me. Thank you. And I am back with the incredible, the undeniable Sam Smith. And I already know what you're wearing because I saw him earlier today rehearsing for his amazing performance. And you're wearing Vivian Westwood. It's so nice to meet you, it's finally, <laughs> finally. Yeah, I'm wearing Vivian Westwood Couture. Me and Andreas and his amazing team worked on it. And I got my little bag. Incredible. <laughs> and I think that it's so important to show up and show out for Vivian since we lost her this year. And she, to me, really defines British fashion. 100%. 100%. Yeah. And for me, the last year, with everything I've done, it just felt like the right thing to wear. And... Um, I'm just so thankful for to Andreas for, yeah. for taking the time and, and yeah, making me feel beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you. Um, I have to tell you a little secret. So when I saw you on the Sex and the City re reboot, you had this beautiful blue um, Christian Cohen, mm -hmm. long coat and this like oversized coat. And I literally called him because he's a friend of mine. I called <laughs> him, I said, I want the outfit that Sam was wearing in the show. And so he was very generous to make me a version in lilac. It oh. is, 
divine. I haven't worn it yet. I've been saving it for the right, the right occasion, but he's also amazing. Christian is incredible, and I've been yeah. wearing his dresses on stage yeah. all over the world. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's an honor. And it's we an saw honor. you in the show. Yeah. Uh, at the yeah, show. yeah, it was so fun. Yeah. It was so you fun. are an absolute icon, and I think. I mean, just London and and globally, and we love what what you've done for representation and being out and proud and being who you are. Thank you. And thank you for that. I want to thank you for that and thank give you, you your flowers. That. You know. Thank you. you know, I'll give you flowers. Thank you. <laughs> us girls have to thank stick you. together. 100%. <laughs> but you're looking you. crazy. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, you know what? What? Who are you excited to see? Oh my gosh, I'm excited to see everyone. It's annoying because it's raining, so normally uh, you yeah. like stand here and stare. Yeah. But yeah, um, I'm excited to see everyone. We'll have a sit down, have a glass of wine. Of course. And we'll just start, get my binoculars out. One last question, <laughs> the jewels. These are diamonds from, from Asprey. Ben, I need to ask. <laughs> ben, where are the diamonds from? These. Pragnal. Is that your stylist? Pragnal. This is Ben Reardon, the sensational Ben Reardon. But this is Pragnal diamonds. Of course. And I've got, you can't see under here, there's one here. Ah. And I got some, yeah. I, I vote that <laughs> Sam gets to keep all the diamonds at the end of the night. Oh my God, me too. Please. <laughs> so let's make that happen. Please. Tell the security guard. Security, stop. <laughs> He's, they're his. They're his. Just give him. He deserves them. He looks amazing. Okay, it was such a pleasure. Lovely. Thank you for stopping so nice to speak to, to me. Bye, Gorgeous. I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully we'll see you tonight at the yes, party. I would let's love party. that. I'd love that. Bye, Gorgeous. Alex is going to sing us in. Yeah. It's, it's the, the most wonderful time of the year. I came out at the last minute. Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. How long can we draw out the birthday no, celebration, Alex? I think my birthday. I think until I'm 50, <laughs> probably. Perfect. Okay. Really eke it out. We've got a minute. Um, we're here with the wonderful Alexa Chung and Marco Capaldo of 16 Arlington. Custom look, guys. Custom look. Give us this. some kind of. Can we actually? This is the sound of it. <laughs> uh, Marco very kindly made me this. Um, it's very beautiful. Thank you. Um, where, where did the inspiration come from? You, Alexa. I think these were two key stories from our spring summer show that we brought together. Yeah. Um, and the rest was you. I mean, we sent you two sketches. You and this is one I picked. Them. And I you know. said yes. I love that the sound of this is quite festive as well. You look really. I know. Cool. I'm a tambourine yeah. man. You are a tambourine man. <laughs> yeah. No, but I love it. It feels kind of like futuristic and ye olde at the same time. Ye olde lady like a futuristic. Joan of Arc. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Joan of Arc. There's, <laughs> there's lots of. Tone of start. There's lots of fun people here this evening, lots and lots of people. Who are you especially excited to see, the pair of you? Who have you seen sneak in already that you were most excited about? Uh, Sam Smith. Okay, yeah. Um, lots of fun designers, and the good thing about London is all the designers are mates. We are. So that's very fun. <laughs> Haven't seen Edward Enham for yet. I'm desperate to see Edward. Yep. We're going to have a, a big a big party tonight. Kiki, yeah. Um, loads of people are here, guys. Okay, it's extremely glad. I, I can't think of, I, I mean, obviously there's loads of celebrities <laughs> often here, and I like staring at them, but I don't know who's confirmed for tonight. But I oh always like seeing sort of American people. Oh, Anne Hathaway is coming. Wow. She's a top babe. She's kind of got even more beautiful as she's aged like a fine wine. She is, oh, she's looking really gorgeous. Looking and really Laura good. was saying that she might be in this amazing Versace look, so I don't want to plot spoil, oh, but I think great. we're going to see Anne looking amazing in okay, Versace. Um, loads of models, models of the year just coming in. Hello. Droves of models. You can't stop the models yeah. flooding yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. get walking in. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, thank you. You better go in and have fun and get warm. You too. Well, I'm sorry that you're out here being rained on, but it's going to be okay. Yeah, can you keep me, can you keep can me warm? Wish me well. Wish they me well. They do a wide angle and then they see the full. <laughs> exactly, Bye. the full wide angle. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Hi, we're back and I am with one of my favorite designers. I've been supporting her and her brand for such a long time. I think she's incredibly talented. Depetsa. Please it, introduce yourself for people who are not. But well, let me just say this. She created the technique to make clothes look wet when they're not. But they're wet tonight because it's raining. But even <laughs> if it wasn't raining, she would still have the wet look. <laughs> So talk a little bit about that. I mean, right now we're in the trenches of the UK weather, but I'm being strong yes. for fashion. Yes. <laughs> but it's very fitting. It's um, so it's this technique that we developed to make clothes look wet, and it's all about 
you know, celebrating the fact that we come from water mm. and that oral water emotions should be celebrated, like, you know, cry in public yeah. and just yeah. yeah, be watery. Yeah, and you had an incredible year. We've seen the Smart Water campaign. You know, you won the designers that I chose to be a part of that. Because, I love that. Yeah, it was so beautiful. And I've seen you on Tyler. With the, I mean, her song is about water, and she put, that was genius. I yeah, think her that, stylist yeah. did a genius job by, you know, choosing one of your gowns to put her in. And, you know, you look great. And so, being part of the Smart Water family, talk to me about your smartest decision. Do you like to work hard or work smart? <laughs> I think I work smart, but if you see me, it looks like I work really hard. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a bit of both. Yeah. So I'm so happy to be able to talk to you and to see you. I haven't seen you in years. But who are you excited and what are you excited about being here at the British Fashion Awards? To be honest, I'm just so excited to be, you know, amongst such amazing, like, inspiring creative people. And uh, every time, you know, because when I work, I'm in my cocoon. Yeah. So when I come here, I'm like, oh, wow, like so much beauty and yeah. so much, you know, artistry. Yeah. So yes. Tonight, there is not a famine from beauty or a talent. And I just want to stop. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello to me. Thank you so much. Me. This is my first time doing this, and hopefully I'm doing a good job, y'all. No, you're but doing you are, at this point, with family. <laughs> Love you so much. All right, have a good time in there. Ciao. Now, one of my favorite things about the Fashion Awards is celebrating the next generation of designers and creative talents, one of whom I have to spotlight, Aaron Esch. Aaron was one of the five designers included in the Smart Water campaign, which Law Styles collaborated with Zendaya on. I was very lucky a little bit earlier today to be out of the rain, chatting to Aaron Esch, wearing a fabulous Aaron Esch gown. Shall we take a look at what happened? I'm here with wonderful British designer Aaron Ash, and I'm wearing British designer Aaron Ash. What do you think? Yeah, incredible. This is a look from your Spring Summer 24 collection. Yeah. Which was fabulous. Opening look. Opening look, none other than. And so you were part of the Zendaya Smart Water campaign. Can you tell me about what that was like? I met Laura in Paris and Two weeks later, I got this email saying, would you like to do this project with Smart Water? And I replied saying, I actually replied saying Smart Water is my favorite water. Yes. It tastes and, the best. Yeah, it, <laughs> and, I, and I had no idea it was anything to do with Zendaya. And then it kind of like very quickly kind of found out about it. It was incredible. It was like a really amazing project to be part of and do something custom for um, a really incredible, beautiful woman like Zendaya. Um, it was great. And in the campaign, Zendaya is wearing this amazing halter neck, which is one of your signatures. Tell us a bit about that look. We wanted to like make a fun, tailored piece that felt feminine, but you know had masculine codes, and it really like fit into her aesthetic. And it was amazing to design something, um, you know, with the codes of the brand, but um, also with her too. And this is obviously a big night for fashion. It's a big night for you. What are you most excited about this evening? I remember being at like school and just seeing, you know, the Fashion Awards and being such a sort of iconic evening and to just like attend is, is quite amazing. I'm very like looking forward to just <laughs> like being here and being, you know, seeing uh, kind of all the leaders of the industry and being part of it. Aaron, it's been so great to chat to you. Okay, thank you, Julia. I'll see you in there. We're going to have fun tonight. Yeah. And speaking of talent, we are here with the talented Nancy Dijaka, one of my favorites, someone who I have been supporting since the very beginning. We had so many moments together so far, and I'm just so proud of the growth of the brand. You know, and you, every time I see you, I just light up and smile because, you know, it's it's like when you when you meet someone at the beginning or close to the beginning, and you just see the growth, you just feel like you're a part of it. So yes. I hope I hope you feel like I'm a part of it. Yeah, I think very important part. Mo the most important moments actually were with you. So thank oh. you. Yeah, we just had an amazing moment with Smart Water. Yes. The little blue dress it was absolutely incredible. So tell me, what what do we have to look forward from you in 2024? 
I think I'm just trying to grow what the brand has to offer and the I'm becoming a lot more confident. Yeah. I'm wearing the clothes a lot myself, which helps yeah. a lot to get like more. I, I was, as you know, when I first met her, she was so shy. Yes. I think somebody had to introduce me to her, and I do love to see the growth not only in the brand, but you as a woman, as a designer, as a creative. Thank I'm you. so proud of you. I just turned 30. I feel like <laughs> I grew up. <laughs> Now, 30 is a monumental age, but you look incredible. You want to talk about the dress that you wearing tonight? Yeah, this is from my fabric collection. It's a viscose jersey with tulle inserts. It's very comfortable, so that's why I chose this one. And I think it's very me and very my brand as well. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on everything. And you um, are amazing. I just want to say that. And thank you for being a part of our family, Zadea and I. And we are so happy to be a part of yours. Thank so you. It thank means you so much. I want it you to enjoy yourself. So Who are you excited to see in there? Um, actually, all the designers that I have been seeing their growth, just like yeah. myself, yeah. in the past few years. So that's yeah. I think that's the the most meaningful part yeah. for me. Seeing and congratulations all my peers. and much more success. Thank you. So and much. I'll be watching. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, baby. We're dancing to stay warm now. We're Absolutely. dancing. I'm the only one dancing yeah. at the trio. Yeah, They're not as dancing. cold as me. Okay, we've got Ella Richards and Connor Ives here, and this is the part of the evening where I get to say, can you tell me about my dress? I might be able to. <laughs> so Julia here is wearing a Demi Couture silk jersey gown. This was actually from Autumn 23. This was the collection Magnolia. We made it originally in a dusty purple, but Julia has so effortlessly shown up on the carpet tonight in a lovely what did you call it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our this is our raindrop pantone shade Ooh. hood included pretty and fashionable then, awesome. exactly this is how we roll and then ella's look my darling what's ella got on ella is wearing a custom demi couture piano shawl gown this uh piano shawl is actually from the 1910s spin so. round ella give yeah, us the 360 it's, gonna, it's, gonna it's, back. it's older than all of us put together you know yeah. <laughs> It might be the oldest fabric here. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're not bragging. But. We're not bragging, but now, Connor, this is Connor Bestie. Yes. What I'm excited about is the last time we saw each other was when I was in your studio, yeah. sitting around in a pair of pants, and you were fitting, doing the last exactly. bit, sewing me into the dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a nominee tonight, darling. Tell us about your nomination. So I am nominated tonight for the BFC Foundation category. Um, it is, it's an honor just to be here. Um, and, you know, you have moments like this where everything feels quite surreal. Um, I can remember myself when I was a kid, I would watch the Fashion Awards. Um, I would watch, you know, all the girls coming in, you know, pretending not to be cold. And here we are now. So it really feels full circle. And to be here with my two favorite girls as really well, does. what more can I ask for? It? Thank you so much, darling. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank See you on the inside. Thank you. I am here with the host this for tonight, Hello. the amazing, the incredible, the gorgeous Maya. Hello, Hi, my love. baby. How are you doing? I'm here? really well. Yeah. I'm really well. So much to talk about. You are having an incredible year. It's been good. Yeah. The British Vogue cover, mm -hmm. shot by the incredible Steve. Stephen Mizell. I know. I'm still not over it, to be honest. I'm still not over it. It is. It was so iconic. It was so beautiful. Thank you. Um, when I saw it, I was, I was blown away and. Edward styled you, right? Yes, he yeah, did. And yeah. it was just like, I mean, icon on top of icon on top of icon. Oh, thank so you. So let's talk about, we got so much to talk about. What are you so wearing much. tonight? Tonight I'm on Dolce & Gabbana is this look. I know it's not British, but there's British looks coming later. Okay. Obviously I'm with Dolce, so we had to do, this is the runway look, and then yes. add the Ulta Massive Cape, right. just to give a moment, right. you know, something dramatic. Doesn't really work with this weather, but we're pushing through. Listen, the people at home don't know what the weather is. Yeah. Like, this is all, we live in a fairy tale. This is fantasy. <laughs> it's if it's raining and snow, it doesn't matter. We'll be out here in bikinis. Exactly. That's what we do for fashion. That's what the real fashion girls do. Yeah. So, um, 
Josh and Gabbana, how many looks are we okay. going so to we do Okay, so we originally tonight? wanted to do four, but the timing-wise, it doesn't really cut it. So we're right. going to do three looks in total. Right, okay. Yeah. And so let's talk about somebody who helps you put the looks together. Yeah. Who's the stylist for tonight? The stylist tonight is Ria Francois. She's back there. Ria Francois, big yeah. shout out to the stylist. My I honey. am not going to stand on this carpet and not ask about the stylist because we know, I know, that nobody's able to do this on their own. A hundred percent. And plus, well, you know, and your stylist is black, so you're also giving a job to a black, a small black owned business, which we love. Yeah, no, she's right. amazing. I've been using her for a while now and she's just 10 right. times across the board. I love it. I think you look perfect. Thank you and so much. And I cannot much. wait to see the outfit changes. Oh my God, yeah. So tell me this, yeah. what do you have coming in 2024 that we should be looking out Ooh, for? 2024. Other than being beautiful. I mean, we try, but <laughs> I think, I can say I'm going to act. There's an acting role coming, okay. but I won't say what. Okay. I'm still deeping into my uh, love that. acting bag, see how that goes down for right. me. But you know, just fun vibes. And just to give you guys a little backstory, Maya and I met at Sabrina and Idris' wedding, which I styled Sabrina yes. for the wedding. Yes. And we danced all night <laughs> yeah, we in Morocco. It was and the most beautiful wedding I've ever been to. It was the most, beautiful, was the most fun I've ever had yeah. at a wedding. Big up the Elbas. Big up the Elbas. They, they, they did it, it well. They did it right. They did, they did it, it well. right. Yeah. And so Maya and I became friends, and we kind of always, like, you know, see each other and, and hug and talk to each other on Instagram. But yes. you are having a spectacular year, and I hope you, you have a more spectacular year Thank in 2024. You. And thanks for stopping and talking My to pleasure. me. My pleasure. I wish you all the best always. And the hair is laid. The hair is laid to the gods. <laughs> the well hair done. was really laid into <laughs> London weather happened. I know. But you're doing I'm still well. happy to be here. You're doing amazing. Congratulations, baby. Well and done, I can't wait honey. to see you tonight. Mwah. Mwah. I'll see All you right. inside Ciao. for a champagne. Ciao. Yes. You're right. Goodbye. Apples and pears. <laughs> I'm working on my British my lingo. I don't know what that means, but I'm here. I should coach you something. Hello. Marina Lipa. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. Um, Charlie, let's start with you. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Pretty major. Uh, what are you wearing tonight? Tonight I am wearing Archive 2004 Spring Couture Jean Paul Gaultier. I know I said that all in the wrong order, but <laughs> no. I wanted to get it all in. I was going to say you've done the homework. Oh, yeah. You know what oh, the what's yes. on the label. You look absolutely stunned. Thank you. It's Thank got you a so kind much. of 1940s feel to it. I love this. Yeah, absolutely I love it too. Fabulous. I feel very lucky to be wearing it. You look beautiful. Riri. Hello, Juju. You're in the Versace. I recognize this I look. Am. Tell us about this little raindrop look. I am. Um, this is Versace. It's something really special I've been wanting to wear for quite some time now. <laughs> and I thought with the little boots, I'd make it a little bit warmer. You've got the shoes. I exactly. see the shoes. Oh, shout out exactly. Jimmy Choo. Exactly. Shout out Jimmy Choo. Exactly. Yes. A it's red carpet fun. girl's best friend is her shoes. OK, guys, it's been a big year in fashion. Mm. What for you personally? Charlie, we'll start with you. What's oh. a highlight? Give me a fashion highlight. A personal fashion highlight? Yeah, lay it on me. Oh, well, I was in a JW campaign, Casual. and that was so fun, and Jonathan's nominated tonight. I know. And I'm so happy for him, and he's fabulous, and I absolutely adore him, so that was really lovely. You ate that campaign. I ate! Yeah, you Thank ate you. that campaign, I've got to say. Exactly. Got to Thank say. you. For sure. I appreciate that. Riri. Hi. I love it when you're in a bit of Mew Mew as well. Tell me I about love. your fashion oh, moments yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this year I've been doing a little bit of like the casual, baggy, kind of tomboy look when I'm normally quite a glitzy, girly girl. Mm. Okay. And so for once I've kind of just been doing it a little bit more casual. Okay. So I do love some Mew Mew. She loves some sparkles. Okay, on that note, guys, I'm going to let you get inside and get dry, and I'm going to stay out here and stay freezing. Stay freezing. And well, dance it away. So I'm going to dance it away. Warm Thank you, my up. love. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank we'll you. See you in there. Oh, I nearly <laughs> hit you over the face with that. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back, and I'm here with finally another handsome man on the carpet, <laughs> Mr. Koji Radical. Hello, we got to start. Please tell me. What What's you happening? are wearing? Well, I'm I'm fortunate to be wearing one of my favorite designers, Bianca Saunders. Ah. Did a custom piece for me, so this is all original. And um, yeah, 
been yeah. a big fan of her since since her graduate collection. Yes. So. It's been incredible. We've got some Bulgari jewelry on. Oh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know, we know. 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 So, let's talk about the importance of seeing somebody like Bianca, a black woman who yes. is doing menswear yes. and doing menswear incredibly well. Yes. I'm a fan too, I'm a friend. Love her so much, yep. been supporting her for a really yep. long time. Tell me what, how important that feels and how it makes you feel to wear her on such a big an event tonight. I can always just relate it to personal experience and, and how I relate to her. Like Bianca reminds me of my sister. Yeah. And I feel like, I don't know, like you can grow up thinking this will never be us. Do you know what I mean? So to see somebody that actually feels like they could, it's not even just representation, yeah. feel like they could be family, yeah. winning. Yeah. You can't, no, you can't, like, sure. do you know what I mean? You're just happy. Yeah, You're I happy. can't wait to see her. I know she's going to be here tonight. I can't wait to 100%. see her. 100%. And she looks amazing. I've seen um, the outfit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, black girl magic, period. You <laughs> 100%. Know what I mean? So tell us, what, what do we have to look for from, from you in the next oh, year? Oh, I mean, i got to get through this. Like, this is my first hosting gig, so. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Start with the British Fashion Awards, jump in at the deep end. Yeah. And then um, write album two. Okay. Yeah, write album two and okay. just get back out there. Okay, yeah. any features, anything that we should? No, nah, I'm, I'm like, no, I'm super early doors. Oh, okay. So okay. I'm, well, who, who do you want to see on it? Who's, uh, who are you listening to right now? Um, I'm, you know, I'm listening to, you know, I, you know what I, what I love to see yeah. on it? Bring bring a, a icon like yeah. Erica. Bring Ooh. Badu. Bring some Baduism 100%, to it. 100% no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be with that. I need to yeah. I mean, find fashion a... fashion meets fashion. Yeah, 100%. Flow meets flow, you know. I feel like she don't have a phone. You have to reach her by that carrier pigeon or something. I mean, you could probably say that she might be here. She's yeah, always yeah, yeah. at the fashion 100%. thing. 100%. She's a say fashion less. girly. Well, but you look amazing. Job. Thank you. And congratulations on everything. Appreciate it. Now you. and to come. You too. Yeah, and keep chilling that. it. You're smashing Listen. it. Pleasure. My, my guy. Pleasure. I almost said something else, but that wasn't really <laughs> appropriate for this carpet. It's okay. <laughs> Good to meet you. Good to meet it's you. It's a too. pleasure. Thank Tip you. Tip back a little bit like this, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's Battle of the Brollies. I'm joined by the one and only Skepta. Hi. Hi, Gord. I know what you're wearing. You're in full look mains. Walk us through this. Unseen, brand new. Yeah, it's just a different colorway of uh, the the silk tracksuits that we did in the last runway collection. Yeah. Now, I think you're like you're playing it low key, but this was a big, big, big year for you. You did your debut mains runway collection. Louis Theroux turned out loads and loads and loads of your friends turned out. Yeah. What does this year in fashion mean to you? Um, yeah, more, it's just like the inception of Mains, and I, I, you know, we've been trying to, I've known Mikey Pierce, the designer, for ages. Shout out Mikey! Mikey, yeah. show us your run in, show us your look! Yeah. Look at this, <laughs> look at this Mains, Mains at the British Fashion Awards. Yes. We're embarrassing Mikey. Yeah. Okay, so Mains was, it, it's your inception, it was a big, big, big runway show, big runway moment. Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. it going next? Um, I just feel like we wanted to just do it at our own speed so it's like a one show a year preferably around September time it's my birthday and obviously <laughs> just yeah you know just that London Fashion Week time yeah and um, just just really make people feel like you know luxury from the street like people who wear street wear just to feel luxury you know and it is it is part of the reason I wear a shirt and tie with a tracksuit it's just it says what it says you know super elevated mm -hmm. you've also been a very busy boy I know you've been in Ibiza a ton this year yeah. Where can we see you next? What's your schedule looking like this party season? Um, ooh, I'm going. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to Art Basel this weekend. Oh, to, Miami! Yeah, Jealous. to Miami. Yeah, to go and play uh, with the Martinez brothers. A show out there, oh and God. another show with Jamie Jones next day. I told you he was a busy boy. Fun, not stop. On that note, okay, give us a 360 of the look, and then I'll let you go inside. Give us a, give us a little. I want to see the back. Hold the mic. <laughs> Let's hold this. I'll hold that. I don't know how I'll do this if like. I'll do it. There we go. We multitask. Yeah, that's it. Take your time. <laughs> okay. There is the mains look. I'm double micing. Thank you so much. You're done. You're free. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am here with the incredible Anne Hathaway who is having the most amazing year. Can I say that? Is that okay to say? I think you have been looking so stunning. The fashion, the everything. And we see each other a lot because we, you know, we kind of work together on some things. But, I, you know, I love you. I love the family. I love the kids. Tell me, let's start with the most important question. What are you wearing? 
Tonight I'm wearing archival Valentino. Yes, and that is why this Mr. beautiful man, <laughs> Mr. Jummy T, is here with you. So let's yeah, talk about the look. Can we talk about the look? You want to talk about I it? I should talk? Yes, <laughs> please. I'm a businessman. <laughs> no, this is a vintage Valentino and um, Valentino design thinking about spaghetti. Yes. <laughs> or, or, yeah. And I've always dreamed of being more pasta. Spaghetti. <laughs> and uh, he did this amazing architecture. Yes. Um, yes. Work, which is super good too. Yes. And I know from, from my work with Annie that she has always been part of the Valentino family. Uh, Mr. Valentino is like a godfather to you, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so just to see that you wear an archive and something that he created with his hands and that you have such a part, a huge part of the business overall. And you look stunning and handsome as always. Thank you. haven't you. aged a day, my darling. Um, and let's talk about the jewels, mm -hmm. which I know is bogery. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? And by the way, I didn't get to say thank you before. You said so many lovely things about me, and I'm so oh. happy to see you doing this. It's such a thank wonderful you. fit. Yeah, I'm trying something else, and, and people and who don't know. Me and Annie had a, 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 a great time. We worked together a few years ago, and. She was amazing and she gave me an opportunity to work with someone who I always thought and looked up to as iconic movie star and the things I learned from working oh, with you. No, we gave each other opportunities, baby, and we ha it was a wonderful time working together. Yes. And you know, I'm always your number one fan, hoping you and as, wishing and you, you all the I, best. And I, and I learned so much from you. Can I tell everybody what please, you taught me? Please, please. Law taught me that an animal print is a neutral. Yes. I remember one day I said, can I wear these? You said, leopards are neutral. It, 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 and I said, oh, And I think so Mr. Valentino smart. would agree with that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but thank you for stopping and talking. You look amazing, Annie. Thank you, likewise. And all the best. Just before we go, what can we look forward to you in 2024, from you? Um, in, 2024? in 2020, well, first, before we get to 2024, I hope everybody goes and checks out Eileen which is a film uh, directed by William Olderoyd and uh, starring Thomas and Mackenzie in an incredible performance. She's unbelievable in the movie. So I hope everybody checks that out, but I'm in a spicy rom-com really? called The Idea of You, and you'll like that one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, and please Thank kiss you. the babies and that wonderful husband of yours. Oh. And you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank and Hathaway, you. guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm back and I am with the incredibly talented Nicole Shenji and I just found out something. You have a show here. Yes, I'm at here the West End. on the West End. Tell us about it. Sunset Boulevard, Norma Desmond, that's what I'm playing. So it's so important. This is my new home, so it's important oh, wow. for me to be here wearing a British designer. And who are you wearing? I'm wearing Patrick McDowell. Okay. McDowell. Okay. Um, awesome, beautiful, emerging British designer, and um, my gown is fully sustainable. Oh wow! And traceable, oh, a wow. custom gown with my custom chalk bag, with with sustainable crystals, which is really important. <laughs> and I can tell this is a British designer, and let me tell you why. There is nobody who can do a corset and a waist <laughs> like a British designer. <laughs> so, who are you excited to see tonight? I mean, obviously Valentino, honoring Valentino, yeah. and I'm um, just excited. I'm usually doing a show, so this is my one night yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you've always been such a beautiful, known to be such a beautiful woman, and to have incredible fashion moments. So what is just the British Fashion Awards, and what they do to help emerging and, 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 um, and new designers? How, how does that make you feel, just to be here and supporting? It's amazing. I, I feel honored. I mean, I'm I'm loving my time here on the West End, and like I said, it's so important to me now that this is kind of my new home that yeah. I'm wearing a new yeah. and a more emerging British designer. And I think you look incredible. And let's talk about the jewels. Oh goodness! I think it's Muwad, and oh, I'm yeah. wearing yellow, yeah. white, and yellow diamonds. Yeah. But something that it was just really simple. I wanted yeah. to keep it really simple and let the dress, the gown. The custom gown do all the talking, and I'm super stoked because yeah. this is a traceable dress, and the origins of the dress come from trees and corn. Oh wow! <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's really incredible, and I think that is where fashion is moving more sustainability, more vintage, and 
You look, she's almost taking my breath away, guys, if you can't Aww. tell. She looks absolutely stunning. And I think that she should be able to keep her jewels. So we're going to start a poll. Um, if you think Nicole gets to keep her jewels for tonight, yes. you know, oh. dial in. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you. One other question. So give me a, just a piece of the smartest advice that you ever got with fashion or just your career or just being a woman. I think the first thing that comes to mind is when my mother said, don't compromise, never mm. compromise. So I think that's important just in life as a woman and just in general for a person. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, smart advice. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank topping. Thank you so much. Have fun in there. And hopefully I'll see you at an after party. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Bye. And we're back, and I have a very handsome gentleman keeping me warm right now, Mr. Tiny Temper. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm really good. All the better for seeing you, actually. Now, this suit is Labrum. Yes, it is. Tell me about this. It's a mossy green kind it of situation. Is. It is, definitely. Um, and I've been inspired by nature recently. You know, um, I've been working on this campaign where nature's been the main focus. And um, yeah, they inspired us today. I love, love, love this look. Now, you're quite big on fashion and in fashion. What's in your closet if we, if we open the doors your wardrobe what do we find right now loads of ski jackets oh it's freezing it's so cold <laughs> it it's freezing. so cold <laughs> so you haven't got a ski trip plan it's just london practical wear there you go yeah i know what about you uh lots of connor ives which nice. is what i'm wearing tonight a little bit mew mew very bit very Prada. nice very very nice lots of young london designers do you know at the moment yeah i'm loving i'm loving a lot of um jw anderson yes um of course i love um a cold war as well what samuel ross samuel is doing. ross dr samuel yeah, ross yeah yeah of course bianca saw Yes. So yeah, there's loads of great designers at the moment. There's so many, and there's so many designers that are here tonight. It yeah. really does feel like a family affair. It does. Who are you excited to see or go ahead to the after parties with? Um, do you know what? Just my mates. <laughs> <laughs> Just my mates. No one in particular. No one in particular? No. Okay, I feel like we need a 360 of this look because I love, oh, wow. love, love this. Give us a spin. Maybe a 180. How about that? Maybe okay, we've got a 180. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nice it's one. so nice to see you. Yeah, nice to Take see you care. too. Take care. That was fun. Oh, hey, and I am back, and I am here with a very special person who is actually nominated. Please introduce yourself to the lovely people. Hi, everyone. I'm Saul Nash, and um, I'm a menswear designer. And you're nominated for what? The new Menswear Establishment Award. Yes, and are you yeah. excited to be here? I am. Like, I mean, it's really nice. The first ever time I came here, I yeah. was sitting up in the nosebleed circle, so... It feels really nice to be right. here today. And yeah. did you manifest like, one day I'm gonna be nominated, I'm gonna be down and on, I'm gonna be on that stage? It was definitely inspiring. Yes. Like seeing the designers at the time. Yes. And yeah, I thought one day I wanna be there. Yeah. So, so who, who's your fashion icon? Like, tell me too, like who inspired you and who at some point in your career you would love to dress? So I absolutely love Issey Miyake. Yes. Um, who we, I, who we lost this year. Yeah, yeah, we sadly lost. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think if I would dress someone, I think my ultimate icon, I mean, it would be someone who dances, maybe Chris Brown. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, yeah. I could probably make that happen for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really cool with his stylist. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I can make that happen for you. We'll, yeah. you know, okay. Cool, so it's a pleasure meeting you and you congratulations and good luck tonight. I hope you walk away with the, with the trophy. Thank you. All right, Thank it's you. a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. So sorry we made you wait so long. Okay, we're back. I'm biased. We're with one of my absolutely favorite people of all time, Edward Enemful, the trailblazer, oh. my boss, the superstar stylist, the editor. Hi, Edward. Thank you. Well, you look great. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Connor Ives, a little okay. remake of the Zendaya look she wore really great. in the Smart Water campaign. Well, you don't wear this in the office, so it's really great. I know. To see I you <laughs> dressed up. I hope I do make an effort in the office, yes, though, you Edward. Do. Yes, you Edward's do. ever chic. Now, I know what you're wearing tonight. What am I wearing? You're in custom Vivi Philo. 
we've been chatting about this. Look, Edward, <laughs> Edward will run over in the office during a meeting, mid-meeting, show me his phone and be like, what do you think, the grey sneakers or the white sneakers? And I'm like... And yeah, the, the sneakers? The grey sneakers, these look no, so No, I'm very, good. really honoured. Wearing Phoebe Philo's first. Close friend. You've been yes, long, long, long friend. time friends. For a long, long time. And she's a, a big West London yes. voice. We're person. both from Lover Grove. Yeah. We're both West Londoners. And I'm wearing her first design for men. So I'm really honoured. And it's quite an unbelievable moment. We're, we're literally breaking news with this, but I also want to talk about you, the trailblazer, because tonight is all about you, Edward. Is it? Well, <laughs> this moment is all about you, and we're really, really, really going to be celebrating. No, I'm really honoured. I mean, the BFC, you know, have always been so great to yeah. me, having been great to Vogue, and I'm so happy to be here to celebrate with everyone. I was so thrilled. A oh. massive congratulations, Edward. Thank I'm so you. happy to Thank see you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. You gotta stop and talk to me. Hi, hi, I'm back. And I am here with a very, very, very gorgeous young lady. I'll let you introduce yourself to the people. Hello, everyone. Very excited to be with you here tonight. I am Jocelyn Corona. And please, Jocelyn, tell us who you're wearing. Uh, well, for me, it was very important to bring a little bit of home with me. Yes. I am a Mexican, you know, born and raised. So I'm wearing Olmos y Flores, uh, Mexican designers. And we look back at our culture, at the romanticism of it. It's made by women, you know, um, we look back at like iconic Maria Felix, yes. Frida Kahlo. Yes. And this is what we wanted to reinterpret the constructive beauty and yeah. make it just and I absolutely love the way you look I've been staring at you for such a long time I know you were in the queue British word queue Crazy. but to talk to me I'm so glad you waited and endured the rain you look incredible and I love that you brought a little piece of your heritage to the British Fashion Awards and let's talk about the jewelry because you are a Pandora ambassador yes. if I'm not right yes yeah? Well, I love that Pandora bring inclusivity and just new faces that we need. You know, I think yeah. we have to push the upcoming talents and yeah. that comes with women and men that have incredible stories. Yeah. So I'm happy to be wearing them. I'm wearing diamonds. Yeah. She likes diamonds. And yeah, I think they're just very, you know, they go with everything very classic but yeah. also modern. You look incredible. I think Thank the you. dress is incredible. And I do Please. also love that there is a slight nod, purpose or unpurposeful, to Vivian Westwood, which I it love. It is. I think it was the right place to show it. It's London. Yeah. Um, it's her house, yes. you know, so we wanted to have a little bit of our roots uh, when it yeah. comes to Mexico, but also London is the yeah. most perfect place hey, to do it. Yeah, yeah, You look yeah. incredible, and Thank it's so, you, such a pleasure Thank to meet you. you. Thank you. It was so nice pretty. You. Thank you. Have wow. a great time in there. Me too. Thank Chapter you. Like, Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, mate. <laughs> okay, we're here. This is where we lift the energy. We've got a chalk. Give us that energy. Californian. The energy is the vibe. The energy is the vibe. We're, so much gratitude to be here. That's what I think. Where we are. And you had an important message about what this year in fashion has meant. Tell me about that. Fashion is inclusive. It's inclusive. Pandora is setting the tone of the new world we're living in. And that's the vibe we're setting. So this is this is why we love the Fashion Awards and the Fashion Council and Pandora. Tell me about your dress this evening. My dress is Bachme, a designer who I'm very, very connected to. We basically, we're immigrants. We're children of immigrants who come to this country on behalf of our family, who work, sacrifice for all of us. And this designer just shows, shined under Galliano, under so many amazing gifts and is now it's his time to shine it is his time to shine yeah. and all you of look, our time really you look so stunning thank you so much yeah. for joining us and have thank a great you. night i'll see you inside i'll see you you better find me girl. i'm gonna find you <laughs> thank you so much i'll see you right. later thank bye you. thank you Hi, I'm back and we are still on this amazing red carpet and I am here with one of my fashion friends, Miss Ashley Pack. 
please. Let's talk about it. Well, let's talk about how you've been out here for an hour and a half. Freezing. And my, freezing, but fashionable. I want to say some British word, my apples and something. I don't know, but I'm cold, but I'll do anything for fashion. So let's start out with the most major question that everybody wants to know. What are you wearing? Oh, David Coma. I would wear it without this, but it's a little chilly. Yeah. Um, he modeled this entire collection after Aphrodite oh. and the Divine Feminine. Yeah. I, and I also loved it because it's my first fashion award. So I was like, oh, fish out of water. But now I'm kind of like fish in water. Yeah. So. <laughs> Same. I'm yeah. fish in water as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why we're friends. You'll get that. You'll get it. It probably went over your head. But, <laughs> You look absolutely incredible. Let's talk about the jewelry. Yes, Pandora, who's the principal partner of tonight. Yes, yes. Um, and we kind of wanted to do like an ode to it, so we we repurposed a lot of the charms and the it's hair. All in the hair. Right, because um, they're sustainable. That's we love them. the way to do it. So I have to ask this because I am from the world of being a stylist. Are you working with the stylist? Did you work with the stylist tonight? And who is that person? And do you want to shot them out? Oh, I well tonight I um, was I'm a global ambassador of Pandora, uh -huh. and so they just kind of helped me out, and we just wanted to elevate the jewelry as much as possible. So I kind of self styled right. tonight. And they oh, good for you. Yeah. We don't. We hate that. <laughs> <laughs> you took somebody's job away. No, I'm just kidding. But David Coleman is a friend. I love, love, love. And him. yes, and yeah. and I've developed such a great relationship with him. He yeah. wrote me the sweetest note. He's and so incredible. I wanted to elevate a British designer yeah. tonight. So and so humble mm. and so sweet and yeah. so handsome, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. So who are you excited to see tonight? Mm -hmm. Since this is your first time in this huge room. I know. Well, friends like you, yeah. you know, that's always fun in these kinds of things to like see familiar faces. And I think like um, the fact that they're honoring Valentino and Pier Paolo wow. and the fact that they're wow. honoring Edward Enemful huh? is like, I, that's what I'm really All excited about. Yeah, to yeah. celebrate. So. so a little thing, 2024, will we see you come back in the show that we love you from? Emily in Paris. Yes. Yes. <laughs> really? Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Should I say? You heard it first. I got the exclusive. <laughs> it's probably not exclusive, but I'm going to pretend it's like not, it is. It's not, but here it is. So, and what do you love about fashion? I love um, the storytelling and the craftsmanship. I come from the world of theater, yeah. and as an actor, you know, we think of fashion as um, when you figure out a costume to wear, that's like what's going to telegraph to the audience who yeah. you are. Yeah. And I feel like we're able to do that with ourselves yeah. in, this, yeah. in this way. It's so, all yeah. about telling the story. Yeah. All about telling the story. Yeah. Well, you look incredible, and I'm so happy that you're here tonight. Thank you. Welcome and have a great time at your very first British fashion. Thank course. you. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too. Ciao, baby. Bye bye. bye. Okay, we're live. Sorry there, I had a little, little oh, chat in my ear. Yeah, yeah, we're now live. Oh, I'm wow, here okay. with Mr. Levy, who's also known as Mr. Sparkle Magic Why not, pants. you know? It's of, a rainy night. I thought I'd wear the sparkliest pants I possibly could. As one should. Now, these <laughs> pants are Loewe. They are Loewe, yeah. Is, is this a full This is a full. This is a full Loewe situation, well, yeah. You wouldn't just wear the trousers, would you? No, of course not. Rude. Not tonight. <laughs> now, you're sitting with Jonathan Anderson I am, this yeah. evening. Can you tell the me a nominee bit? this evening. The nominee this evening. I know. How did you guys first meet? It's many years ago, over Instagram, I think. Oh. Yeah, we were mutual memes? admirers of each other's work. <laughs> Pet memes? Uh, funnily enough, my one, one of the very first designer <laughs> purchases I ever made was of J.W. Anderson in, like, I want to say 2010, Ooh. maybe even earlier. What was it? It a was a pair of, like, sweater. studded combat boots, and oh. they are still incredible to this day. Oh, okay, yeah. I love that. You haven't got your combat boots on this evening. Not You've got tonight, a sort of no. rounded toe. I have like a rounded a shoot, toe situation. A sort of yeah. shooty boot. A mm -hmm. shoot. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Oh I know God, I'm going to get to We've me. run out of time. I'll see you on the <laughs> there inside. You go. Thank see you. Inside. Bye, gorgeous. Bye. Hey, and I am back with a uh, one of my good friends, the incredible. I want to say something because I never got a chance to say this to you, but. There has been only a few people, in my opinion, who has absolutely changed the world. And you have used your platform and your beauty to change the perception of, of what people deem as beautiful. And I've never gotten a chance to say that to you. And I think tonight is the perfect place so the world can hear or whoever's watching that I really do feel like Thank feel you, that Ma. way. I appreciate really, that. I really Thank you so do. Much. I love you. Thank I love you. you more. And so like now that we got the sentimental things out of the way, but okay. I've been I've been really I've been really wanting to say that to you because I really do believe I that. I appreciate that. Because I was you. just in Brazil and there was a there was a 
billboard of a, a young girl with vitiligo in Brazil. Yeah. I was in Sao Paulo, and I looked up and I'm like, Winnie has really changed the world. Thank you. And I just want to give you your flowers now. That's the thing about being a trailblazer. Like, it's not always going to be easy, but when you see things like that, when I see things yeah. like that, I know it's all worth it. Yeah. Like, to kick down doors yeah. that were never open for me yeah. so that they're open for other people, that's what makes it worth it. And we it. did that, and we love you for that. Period. So Thank now you. we got the, the emotional part out the way. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about what you're wearing. Okay. <laughs> Today I am wearing um, Richard Quinn. Okay. Bridget Wait, Desire. Is it? The jewelry. This is live. <laughs> this is live. Baby. No, the jewelry. I don't know. The, the jewelry is Masika. Masika. Yeah. And Richard Quinn. You. So you, British designer. Yes. Richard Quinn. So yes. we love. And Amina. We love Amina. Babe, you know. You know. Me and you are usually the same height. It's given. I know that boo. It's given a boo. Well. Amina. We love Amina. So you've been here many times before. So what keeps bringing you back? What are you? keep how does it you keep being ex how do you I'm not I don't speak proper English okay and I'm not British <laughs> so just bear with me but how do how do you get the excitement because we really want to talk like this like right, really right, period, right. It out. <laughs> right. so what, what keeps bringing you back to, to the British Fashion Awards the British I mean it's iconic I also lived here for two years my mom is British as well she's from oh, Lewisham I didn't know that. yes little um south girl and so yeah, South London, yeah. Um, and so I just love London, and this is a home away from home for me. Um, living here for two years, I got to really experience London, and I was embraced by the culture here that mm. is very similar to my own culture, being yeah. Canadian, being Jamaican. Yeah. That Jamaican culture is very strong prominent, out here, yeah. very prominent. And so I feel like it's just home away from home. London just brings me back. Yeah. Well, you heard it first from Winnie Harlow incredible and you know it's just how happy i'm so happy that i get to come and do things like this and switch it up a little bit yeah you do get to talk and get to talk to my friends Absolutely. and people that i love and care about and manny here that's holding the umbrella <laughs> he is incredible and always so supportive of both of us and always shows love and I'm just happy to see you. And, and I'm you proud look of you as well. Thank you. You have really broke down doors. The things that you've done with Z has Thank been you. incredible. Thank you. I feel like everybody deserves people in their corner who can lead them and guide them, yeah. but also be able to allow them to shine. And yeah. you've done that so much. Thank you. In her career. And she's and done it for me. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you look great. Enjoy yourself. And I, I'm Thank sure you. I'll see you at a party tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, and you know this. Everybody, the amazing Miss Winnie Harlow. Thank you. Hey, I'm back and I'm here. This carpet is getting better and better as we go. And now I'm here with one of my really good friends, the incredible, the dark chocolate Queen, the pretty, the face, the body, Miss Laomi Anderson. Hello, Miss Laomi. And please, and I know what you're wearing, but please introduce the designer. Exactly. I'm wearing Julian McDonald, and of course, he is uh, right here. Thank you. Iconic. Yes. So tell me about it. What made you put Laomi in this look tonight? Mm. Well, do you know what? I thought that she wanted something that deserved attention, something that was glamorous, glamorous, effortless, chic, and she's wearing a tulle illusion invisible dress. Yes. Cool. You want to do a little spin for the people? Is that proper? Oh! Yes. Okay. Of course. We love Come that. On now. So Come what? On. So how did you guys link together? I'm sure you wore you won Julian McDonald before. Of course, and I've right. walked the show as well many okay. times. And okay. for me, I wanted to give sexy. I wanted to give shards, darling. <laughs> and you want to know what it is? Like the British Fashion Awards is one of the most fun events of the year. It is. So I wanted to give something a little bit different. So body, 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 but also right. a little bit of reflexive. Right. Mm -hmm. So Julian, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So. If you could think about all the advice that you got over the course of your career, yeah. what was some of the smartest advice you ever received? Do you know what? Always be nice to everybody because mm -hmm. sometimes you, know, you can be a bit bitchy towards right. some people, but right. those people you might need one day in your career. career. Yeah. So I'd always be nice, positive, and do you know what? It costs nothing to smile. It's true. Smile and be happy. It's true. So I'm going to get you guys out of the rain. Of Have course. a good time tonight. Yeah. Thank you so much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, my darling. So you know what time I can't it wait is. to see you in there Come and at the after party. At the after party. Oh. Shot, shot, shot. All right. Thank you so much. Well, I'm Anderson and Julie McDonald, everyone. Bye. Bye.
I am here with one of my <laughs> great, 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 great friends, the gorgeous Sabrina Elba. Oh. <laughs> and if, in case people don't know, I actually styled her for her wedding, mm -hmm. went through the process of choosing that incredible Vera Wang gown that she wore. And I will tell you that it was the most fun that I've ever had at a wedding or probably even at any event oh. in my entire life. So what I want to know from you, first question is, when is the anniversary party? And ah. where would it be? I mean, it's only been four years. I think I gotta wait six more, but I'm gonna do it just as big. We can't honestly, wait ten. That was now. one of the most important days of my yeah. life. But you not only made me feel comfortable and safe, you just you taught me so much. I'll oh never forget God. everything you said to me. Oh my God. I remember you asked me, "Are you that girl?" And it made me kind of reevaluate the way that I looked at myself and oh how I choose the things I'm gonna wear. And yeah. that's always in my head now. So thank well, that was you. a good segue to my next question. You are having such a moment like fashion all these fashion moments this year you have been looking absolutely incredible let's talk about what you are wearing tonight oh i'm wearing harris reed i uh, love him i think it's, it just means so much when you love someone as yeah. much as you love their clothes yes. i think he's an amazing angel yeah. human being no he's and a beautiful I'm, person oh i'm so thankful to be able to and wear he's actually stopped pieces. by earlier before um, oh, a little sorry, bit earlier in the carpet him. but what i love about him he is a modern day couturier in my opinion i mean um, the luxe the quality the comfort the feel <laughs> i can't even tell you how good I feel. You look this. incredible. Just giving me boobs. No. <laughs> incredible. And I just I just love people my friends, I just love seeing the progression and I just think that you have been looking incredible. I love every single thing that you've been doing and I oh, love you so love much. You. And tell Idris that I love him and I miss him I so will. much. I love you so much. I gotta ask okay. you one question sure. though. How does the king of the middle part feel about mine? You did good. Yeah? You did good. Okay. Oh. I mean it's not it's not giving it's all not the giving inches long. but you did right. good. I All right, I so love you. Much. Have a good time in there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We're heading down to you. And we're back with Clara Ampho, the amazing presenter, a woman of, what, how do we say it? She's got, she's got voice, she's got talent, she's got dance moves. Do you know what, I've, I've got a few things. I've got a few things going on, how are you? I'm really good. Okay, Clara, we were just chatting before we went on air about some Strictly secrets. Oh yes. C can you actually tell us some secrets? Because um, we want, teach me how to, teach me how to stand well, like, the, with the, this. Well, the pose I'm doing now is called a bevel, a and bevel? when I did the show, that's how they told me all the, all the dancers pose, and it just elongates the body line. I think you do you look nice very, little, sophisticated in your bevel. Thank who, you so much. What, um, what are you wearing tonight? I am wearing the incredible Roxanda, who I love very much. I love Roxanda. Um, she's so creative. I think her work is like architecture. Um, she's so kind and she she's genuinely still very passionate about what she does. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. She's not designing for, for designing's sake. She's designing because it's, I think it's her calling. It is her yeah. calling. <laughs> and also she creates designs with joyous colour. That's it. And you the, go to those shows, it's like bursts of sunshine colour. It's beautiful. Well, that's it. In the last collection I went to, the sun truly came out for her that day, and it was it was a beautiful day in September, and I I was slack jawed at everything that I saw, oh. and yeah, this is one of my favourites, so I'm delighted to wear it tonight. I'm so delighted to see you. Thank you so much. Absolute Laura. pleasure. See you on the inside. I will see you on the inside, babe. Bye, my love. Happy fashion Thank awards. you. <laughs> bevel. Oh yes, bevel. Bevel till the last. Bevel. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I am so honored to be here with you, Julia. I've had a blast. Um, Have you I, had a blast? Oh my God, it was beyond a blast. I got to talk to some old friends and make new friends. I'm telling you, the British Fashion Awards red carpet served by Smart Water is the place to be. It really is. What have been some of your highlight looks this evening before we go inside and have a little tequila? Oh, um, <laughs> actually there have been so many. I think Anne Hathaway in the archive Vintage Valentino yes. was absolutely incredible. Um, Harris Reed, I saw a couple things that he did tonight and that was absolutely incredible. It's been so many, like, I'm, I'm having like a fashion overload to be kind of honest. You? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, let's have a look at some of the best bits. Let's cut to it.
and that was it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Happy birthday! We love you. We do love you. Ciao.